Irish, I stand with the President of Ireland. For refusing to go to Northern Ireland and listen to a mass. We are Irish. The President of Ireland had a right to refuse. The Queen's invitation, when they fought us 12,000 years, we've asked the, the English government to give back to six counties in nearly 1,200 years, but they refused, and the Irish President has a right to stand free and to understand. I stand with the Irish President, and I salute the Irish President for standing to as well. The Queen has no right. When you think about the world, Ireland has more freedom than, than anywhere else in the world. And the Queen is a warmonger. That's all she is. But President D. Higgins understand this. And he had a right, he had a right to refuse the Queen's invitation to a mass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To understand sovereignty and sovereign of Ireland. Michael D. Higgins knows the sovereign of Ireland. He knows where is, which, which side his bread is buttered on. His, his bread is buttered on this side of the sovereign. And when they all are saying, the old saying is come out as black and tans. We won't stand for the Queen, right? We need our six counties back. And when you see that world, when we see that world, then the President of Ireland will recognise the six counties of Ireland. I stand with the President. And we salute the President of Ireland. We salute the world's con uh, the Irish Constitution. And I have great respect for uh, Dibbley Dibbley Higgins. Whatever you want to call him. Higgins, the President of Ireland. Do you know, I have great respect for him. I mightn't be able to pronounce his name right, but he's one of the greatest little men who created this country, became President. He's not a traitor. The Queen's a traitor to her own country. And that's been proven. And I salute you, Mr Higgins, Deputy Higgins, President of Ireland. I salute you. I salute you in the Irish people. The Irish people salute you for denying the Queen. I salute you. Come out just black and tan.